Hi, it's me, Teacher Jen. Welcome to today's art class. So, what we are going to do is composition and balance. Now, the idea is to put the mushroom inside the light bulb. So, to do that, we need to draw the light bulb as big as we can so we won't have any trouble uh, working on the mushrooms. So, first, we're going to I'm gonna draw the bottom part of the light bulb as big as I can on my paper so I won't have any trouble basic shape first, wala mo ng detail oops let's just say somewhere here after I draw the basic shape ng bottom ng yung light bulb let's position this one yung grooves nung parang screw type and then by then I could now put in the mushroom right here in the middle the reason why uunahin ko muna yung mushroom before yung mismong light bulb so I could easily put the light bulb over the mushroom since translucent or transparent naman yung uh, light bulb so hindi ko na kukunin tong area na to gagawin ko ikakat ko na lang siya because hindi siya masyado nakikita sa perspective and naka end siya we want the mushroom to be sitting right here in the middle so kukunin ko na lang na area is from here Gawin natin ng konting bent or bend work on the mushrooms yung ibabaw ng mushrooms ito yung dapat yung nasa unahan and this one will be at the back so to do that you need an oblong shape now this area should overlap a little bit compared to the bottom part if you notice this one naka overlap siya tapos naka underdraw naman yung area just to create an illusion na nasa ilalim yung isang area yung isang part and this one should go here and then cone head of course dapat dead center yan and then now you could see clearly na nasa ilalim siya wala mo nang masyadong shade you could put in the shadow a little bit pero hindi mo na masyadong ma-detail now if you want the light bulb to be a little bit more bigger para mas maganda siya sa composition pwede naman uh, this is just for sample purposes now since naka composite na siya I could now easily work on the outside of the light bulb pero you, what you need to do is make sure kung ano yung drawing sa kaliwa yun yung drawing mo sa kanan and dapat outline lang muna siya hindi muna siya detail or uh, wala muna siyang masyadong uh, shadows what you need to do here is yung balance ng overall shape ng light bulb Kasi if you just gonna draw directly na may shading ka agad, ma, uh, it will end up na parang hindi pantay yung image. So what I do is composite muna everything. Now, if I like it na, then I will start working on the shade. If I don't like it, or if I, it needs adjustment, then I could gradually adjust my drawing if I want the mushroom to be taller or if I want it to be shorter or if I want the light bulb to be a little bit more bigger it 
the reason why ito yung uh, subject for this week's lesson because last week we did the water droplet and after naman yung water droplet we did the groupings ng uh, grapes so this time we're trying to do a group but more on composition and yung balance ng mismo composition so we're trying to get the translucency effect ng light bulb and then naman yung solid uh, textures ng mushrooms na very similar yung color tones and uh, transitions of shades to a grape so what we have here is yung naka initially compose it so what you need naman is to measure kung pantay yung drawing sa kaliwa dun sa kanan so now since para if you notice na parang pantay na siya you could now start working first on the mushrooms or trying to detail uh, the mushrooms uh, pay attention to the lines, the textures, the shape of your subject. You don't want this one to be too dark. Ito yung pwedeng mag darker because naka base siya ng silver and gray. But yung mushroom since you or yellow in color. Uh, make sure na hindi siya masyado madilim and mas darker yung uh, end part ng light bulb because if this one becomes too dark and you're trying to put a translucent image on top of it hindi, hindi siya masyadong effective so this one should be light and the, the light bulb should be the lightest the trick on having a translucent light bulb is yung placement nung, nung highlight for example, you want to put the highlight over uh, the the mush some parts of the mushroom para mas effective. What you do is hover mo lang yung eraser. Uh, let's just say, palit lang tayo. Uh, wait first. Let's just shade sh shade and muna natin siya very lightly. And then, palit tayo ng eraser. So, soft. I go to settings and let's do this. So, kung gusto mong naka-hover or naka-on top yung highlight, what you do is use naman an eraser to softly erase yung this is, this is the other one. on top naman siya but make sure na better kung uh, medyo kita pa din yung uh, konting mushroom sa ilalim so let's just say I'll use this na lang softer eraser yeah, but pwede rin naman yung hard eraser just make sure lang na uh, planchado or dahan dahan lang yung if you want to erase it make sure lang na medyo may nakikita pang part na mushrooms hindi mo kailangan masyado ng detalye pero mas mainam kung kahit pa paano naaaninag siya ng konti but if you want to take out some of the areas that's also okay lang if you want naman na hindi naka overlap pwede rin uh, kung if you want to do this na parang naka centro or naka center on this area yung mushrooms tapos nandi dito naman yung light yung shadings no, or highlights ng light bulb to make it easier for you uh, for your project uh, that's also okay lang 
uh, make sure lang na ito yung main focal point yung grooves no light bulb because ito yung mag emphasize na nasa loob siya uh, nung mismong light bulb so this is teacher Zheng, uh, may I hope everyone uh, you learn a couple of lessons from us today here at Studio and Delino and World of Arts. I will be back next week to give a couple of uh, short tips. Uh, the detailed tips for this drawing will be reserved to enrolled students. Uh, I will try my best to put an extra effort and give a little bit of tips on how to do this uh, ng my detail para naman yung mga hindi naka-enroll could also learn uh, from us. Uh, may everyone have a wonderful day. Uh, this is Tisha Jeng. Love and peace.